Hiba Moskowitz is currently the leader of Success Academy Public Charter Schools in New York City. Uh, I first met her though when she was on the city council in New York City uh, in the early 2000s. Oh, New York is daunting, very daunting. Uh, the politics of education in New York are about everything other than the children and everything other than teaching. I had spent an awful lot of time trying to figure out what makes for great schooling. I had visited hundreds of schools. I had held over 125 hearings on every topic under the sun. And I was a little bit tired of trying to get the bureaucracy to fix what was wrong. And I thought it would be a much better use of, of my time to try and get it right from the get-go. When we think about delivering a, a great education, Eva runs that show, and then she's constantly messaging to her leaders, this is what the focus should be. You know, we have our qualities of excellent teaching. This is what we want to focus on. This is how it should sound. This is what rigor looks like. This is what boredom looks like, and we, we want to guard against it. So um, who sets that vision? Eva sets the vision. So we started August 20th, 2006. We opened Harlem Success One, and eight years later, uh, we are on our way to 32 schools, including our first high school. We are in the top 1% in the state of New York, irrespective of socioeconomics, even though we serve a vast majority of Title I kids, poor kids. I mean, there's so many things that you can say about who she is as a person and how that has trickled down and, and affected thousands and thousands of children across the city and thousands of families. Because she is so uh, compassionate and because she has so much passion about what she does and about how all children can succeed, we are getting it done. This is candy land, to be honest, and I tell my kids this a great deal of the time, because the moment you step outside of school, the moment you step outside of Success Academies, you are in, you are in a world where the realities are very, very true and very in your face. What's unique about Eva's schools uh, are that she's bringing kind of the power and the spirit of the local community back into education reform in the way that our founding fathers and the framers of our um, uh, public education system had envisioned it. At the end of the day, when it comes to education, we really have to ask ourselves, what is best for teaching and learning? And we cannot allow the obstacles or the politics to get in the way of making sure that children get what they deserve and are entitled to. 